What's up guys, this is my review of the official Cyanogen Mod 11 based on Android 4.4.2 KitKat for the HTC One. So if you don't know how to install this ROM, hit link 1 from the description. So without any further delay, let's get into the review. Starting with the lock screen, we have this weather widget over here and the unlock button with the shortcuts which is customizable and all these apps can be directly launched from the lock screen. So this is working perfectly smooth. Once you unlock the device, you get the very familiar KitKat UI with the OK Google functionality. Pulling your notification from the left will give you all your notifications and pulling it from the right or pulling the notification bar with double finger will give you your toggles. So you can enable or disable the quick settings right from this toggle page. You can also launch the camera right from the toggle space in the small screen as you can see here. It's not a floating camera yet you can take pictures very quick. You also can add additional toggles or customize this toggle space from tapping on this plus icon. As per app goes, you get the regular Google apps. You have none of the sense features or apps. And uh, you can say that you have this complete stock Android experience. All the apps that you get with this ROM works perfectly fine. No lags, no crashes. All the features works perfect like NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, etc. Camera is also working perfect. Uh, but you don't have the photosphere mode by default. You can install the zip file from the recovery mode to get the photosphere mode. So I will add a link in the description for the photosphere mode add-on. And another thing that I have noticed here is the audio via speakers is slightly louder than the sense based ROMs and we even don't get the beats audio mode with this ROM. The ROM is really light, very snappy and stable. If you like stock Android, you can use this ROM as a daily driver. The ROM is working perfectly fine. Let's move on to settings. Over here you have your normal settings for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, etc. And below that you have this personalization tab where you get options to customize the UI of this ROM. Home tab is if you use multiple launchers. Lock screen tab to customize your lock screen like changing the security type. Enable battery percentage on the lock screen. Slider shortcuts, slider shortcuts so that you can launch these apps directly from the lock screen and adding widgets etc. You also have got themes options. You can download a lot of signs and mod themes from the play store and use it. And from the interface menu, you can do a lot of customizations. For the status bar, we have battery style, showing battery percentage, signal style and this double tap to sleep mode. This will help you to lock your device by double tapping the status bar. You also can adjust your brightness by sliding your finger across the status bar as you can see. You have quick settings panel for customizing your notification bar like toggles, pull down actions etc. You can increase and decrease the vibration intensity level from here and you can enable launch music app when headphones are plugged in. From the performance menu you can optimize the processor speed, IO scheduler and memory management but these options are not for the noobs. Do not play around with these settings if you don't know about this. You have got wireless printing and that's it for the settings. Lastly talking about the battery life, the battery life is really good with this ROM. Standby time is amazing and the charging time is really fast. So overall the battery life is better than the sense based ROMs. So that's all about this ROM. This is a short and a quick review of the official Cyanogen mod for the HTC One. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great day.